these transactions between landowners and sportsmen have always been there. You know, we've we've yep. always opened your land, or you you might have always opened your land up for hunting, fishing, these sorts of opportunities. But how, how does land trust change that equation? How do they step in and and serve as that connection? Yeah, absolutely. So I, you know, I, I started this company to scratch my own itch. I, um, I live here in Montana and we have tons of public land, but naturally you always find yourself wanting to hunt your fish on private lands because, because of the stewardship that happens there and the population, the wildlife and all that good stuff. And I uh, just found it was, you know, of course, door knocking is always an option that's been there and people have door knocked for a long time. But as I talked to more and more landowners as I was working on this idea, uh, door knocking wasn't necessarily a desirable thing from landowners, especially producers who are you know, working super hard during the day and having to be interrupted and, and have these conversations five times, 10 times a day or whatever it might be during a hunting season. And so it wasn't a, wasn't a great option. Um, and so we, we kind of, again, I've spoken to thousands of landowners at this point. And so is our, our team here at Land Trust. Um, and we broke down kind of all the things that we heard from landowners that were pain points. So of course, you know, door knocking and being interrupted, um, you know, the idea of liability insurance and um, being able to just easily uh, control access to their land without having that disruption. Those were a lot of the main things. And so we designed land trust to really alleviate all those things. So you saw in JD talking about once, once you set up your listing, you can manage it from your phone while you're, you know, fixing fence or doing whatever you might be doing. And I think the big thing to keep in mind here is that you maintain 100% control. You know, we're not leasing any, land trust doesn't lease any land. We don't set any rules. We don't do any of that stuff. We're simply providing a, a platform that facilitates marketplace. So, you know, if you want to have list one day of hunting for turkeys in the whole year and you want it to cost a thousand dollars, that's up to you. You know, you can do that. Is there a market there for that? I don't know. We can, we can find out. Um, but that's really the idea. So it's completely 100% controlled by the landowner. We, we take care of a lot of the liability and insurance and safety in that aspect. And we allow our producers, our landowners to continue on with their daily work with very, like very little input and be able to make pretty significant income. In our first year of full operation, on average, Lander has made $2,400. That's just for DIY, you know, you basically click accept and people can come out. But we had many landers make over $10,000 and we had uh, our highest earner did about $29,000 this year. And he's a farmer in South New Jersey who, you know, he listed, I think 10 listings between 20 and 80 acres with whitetail and turkeys. And we're not talking about trophy, you know, whitetail deer or anything like that, just, you know, deer and turkeys. And that's almost pure profit because it's literally just saying yes to people who are saying, I'm willing to pay you a premium to come out and enjoy your land and all the hard work you put into stewarding it. So like I said, it's really, it is incremental income that's available to you from your existing resources. There's not extra stuff you need to do. Um, 